the ice. And now we want his cheek. Green fingers looking ice. My day ones, yeah, the dance is up again. So you know it's only right, that's how we end. Came all the way from losing to win. Yeah, I did it. But it ain't just me, it's the whole team. Share with the whole team. Congratulate the whole team. Know when you riding like we riding with each other. Ain't no I in this. It's the whole team. Share with the whole team. Congratulate the whole team. Cause when you riding like we riding with each other. Ain't no I in this. See, we came up from the bottom, me and squad got it. And we made it through them problems. Now it's God by the God. We eat, sleep, breathe this. Wave till they see sick. Do it right the first time. They all try to read me. Yeah, they grind it, but we grind it. If they, tell them they time is ticking. But we time a fish. fish. Better not leave a minute. Stop it. Something like the goat off in that pocket. Whole squizzy riding with me. Who gon' stop it? My day ones. Yeah, the dance is the beginning. So you know it's only right. That's how we hit. Came all the way from losing to win. Yeah, I did it. But it ain't just me. It's the whole team. Share with the whole team. Congratulate the whole team. Congratulate the whole team, cause when you riding like we riding with each other, ain't no I in this. You gotta choose. You like the top or you just like to lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom, I got the proof. You gotta choose. You like the top or you just like to lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom, I got the We are 15 miles due west of the Atlantic, nestled in downtown Jacksonville at TIAA Bank Field. Today, after a crazy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the Tennessee Titans and the Jacksonville Jaguars. The final weekend of the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. Phillips now from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. a third down. Well, this defense for the Jaguars, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And that's not going to happen. They scored seven turnovers in that game, and I know we always talk about turnovers coming in bunches once you force the first one. But seven? That seems almost impossible, but we watched it happen. Third down, it's Willis. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Phillips. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Throwing on second and eight, Willis. And incomplete on the deep ball. 
But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. On third down, it's Willis. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 41-yard line. Back to the ground now, it's Henry. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. They keep it with Henry on first down. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. First carry of the game for Hassan Haskins. They lost four there, and it's third down. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive. And normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, it looked like the offensive line let them down a little bit. They yeah, allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff them for a loss. And the Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. Now Willis eluding the pressure right. Willis slides safely and he picks up the first down. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Off the option, here's Henry. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Willis looking to throw it. He's going to be sacked. Back at the 23 yard line. Tough spot for Willis and the Titans. Now facing third and long following the sack. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And the Jags are going to get the football here as they force the INT on the game's opening drive. And this Charles, definitely not what they were wanting to see. Remember, he threw three interceptions in the loss last week, and now he gives the ball away again here in the very first quarter. And you have to think that this was drilled into him all week, too, by his teammates, by his coaching staff. They've told him all week long, we've got to protect the football. They probably crossed that fine line. He's got a man complete. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. Here's a give to ETN. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty. First and goal. They'll try to run with ETN. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. ETN once more. 
And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Now Lawrence to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Here we go. Step. And they'll try and throw forward with Lawrence. Touchdown! Travis Etienne, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Phillips now from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football. Wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Inside handoff, Henry. Gets by him, and now a little daylight. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. This offense hoping to avoid the 0-2 start. They trail, but they've got a first and 10 here. They'll try the right side with Henry. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. 45 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. From the 41, Willis. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. That was not a real confident throw right there. And he's just 2 of 7 to start the game. Now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. The shotgun snap to Willis. Check down complete to Haskins. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Henry again on second down. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Willis from the gun on third down. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars 26. That would good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Here, 
Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Willis. And he wisely will throw that one away. Martin, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. Willis looks to pass it here. Now the ball comes loose. And he does not get to the first down marker as they stop him at the 19. Bad place to fumble down here in the red zone. At least they got it. They'll have another shot. Or no, they won't have another shot. It's going to be fourth down. Maybe they can at least salvage three. And they were thinking six points because at this position of the field, it's go time, right? You take your shots at the end zone. They weren't able to do that one. So you look over at the sideline, there's a head coach saying, ah, oh, heck, kick it, field goal time. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. From the end zone comes Chris Claybrooks to return. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's... And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Caleb Farley. And the Titans are going to take possession of the football. Boy, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. Now at first down, Henry with a little bit of running room. Nice gain. He'll get about six yards there. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. On second down, here's a run from Haskins. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how he get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. First and 10, Willis on the move to his left. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try to get those yards a safer way. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. From the gun, here's Willis. And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. Brought down by Trayvon Walker on the pass rush. And his kick is absolutely perfect. That also a career-long kick for the veteran, Charles. Yeah, how about what he just got done there? We always knew he had a big leg, 
But how about everything coming together perfectly on that one? Great leg swing and bang that one through. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Claybrook's going to bring this one out. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And not an abundance of time remains on the clock, Charles, but you would think more than enough to try to extend this lead before intermission. And when you're talking about extending the lead, I think you're talking about aiming for the end zone because there is plenty of time for that. The fallback is to get three. But in your mind, you put six on the board right before the half. That's a heck of a dagger and great momentum to carry into the locker room. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and oh. Here's first and 10. Lawrence will throw. He's able to find Melton. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Lawrence. Another catch for Melton. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Working with a second and three. Lawrence going to throw again. There goes a deep ball in zone. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. I'm looking at this one with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. Patterson's kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we hit the halftime break here in Jacksonville with the Jags on top as we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in the second half. Claybrook's going to bring this one out. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions they know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. On third down, Lawrence. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. They're going on fourth down. Lawrence, he's going to air one out. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. So nursing a slim lead, and that is the opposite of protecting that slim lead. All I can think here is that head coach 
He knows more about what's going on with his team than we do. He must know something's up. Either he has trouble with his punter, right? He's, he's worried about his defense. There's an explanation in there that we're going to ask for after the game. Because in this situation, I wouldn't have done that in, in normal circumstances. But maybe he thought, my best opportunity is with my offense. Yeah, interesting. Back in their own territory. Now we'll see what transpires. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. The starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. Clay Brooks going to bring this one out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. From the 24, Lawrence. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Now Lawrence on first down. Going for the deep ball. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And the Titans are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trust and confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Second down, here's Willis. And right side, Henry's got it. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And that'll bring us to a third and four. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Back to throw Willis. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Off the option, here's Henry. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. 
Where's the receiver in motion right? They'll run it on the option with Haskins. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he can get out of the backfield. To throw, here's Willis. That's complete to Traylon Burks. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. If points result, we'll call this play significant. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Two things to watch. First is strength and being able to break out that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. On second and 11 now, Willis. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Four yards on the pickup. Good enough to extend the drive. Again, it's Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right, It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Half the street. Half the street. Seventy Rangers. Seventy Rangers. Now Willis. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Jaguars are going to get the football back. It's time to run out in this third quarter of play. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Now Lawrence to throw on second down. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. Now Lawrence. He's going to air one out. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. On first and ten, it's ETN. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Travis Etienne with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Jaguars get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Patterson up and good. And that will ensure that it will 
that'll take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Ready, break. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. In just a one-possession game, down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two-point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Look at my team! Throwing again on second and ten, it's Willis. No bottle, the fumble. It's out, it's loose. Fortunate to get that football back. His trailing here in the second half. Last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Third down, it's Willis. And that is incomplete. Can't quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. Willis, gotta have this one. And he comes back with one complete. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. To the air on first down, here's Willis. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Willis. Throwing it in traffic there, and that's complete. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Here comes a big one as this crowd gets out making some noise. It's third and short. Cut back team! Cut back team! Willis with it on third and one. Open man is Burks, and he's got him. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars 43. Hey, check out, check out. Three, three. Off the option, here's Henry. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. To throw, here's Willis. Over the middle, complete. It's Phillips. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Slot man moves right. And they'll send the slot in motion left. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And some space here. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry, 33 yards. And the Titans have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They've still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make the play. But he is not going to make it. It's a big play by the defense, and they're going to hold on to their two-point lead. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. 
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts and early opportunity? Or wait until you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. Throwing now, Lawrence. He's going to wind up and air it out. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Amadi Hooker. And the Titans are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Wow, between last week and this week, that's now eight interceptions. Five a week ago, now three here. Well, he is so lucky that one of the defense coordinators I played for, a man named Ken Donahue, is not there right now. Because he saw that happen during his coaching career. And he grabbed the quarterback in the midst of a streak like this and said, tell you what, son, why don't you throw it to the defensive guys and let's see if our receivers can intercept it. <laughs> well, he's got to figure something out because the current formula is not working. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest game we've seen on a scramble, but still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Now Willis. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Willis to throw. Flush to his right. He's going to let it fly. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going. And I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what hasn't. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Willis, fourth down, has to have it. And the comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. And the Jags are going to take possession of the football. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That To me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. I usually hesitate when I say a guy's got world-class speed, but this guy might. So let's fire the starter's pistol. Let's go. If you've got him, you've got to try and use it. A lot of anticipation with the ball in the air, but no, incomplete. Buying time to his left. And that will be incomplete. Barton, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. And they'll try and throw for it with Lawrence. And able to find Kirk complete. And he is going to have the Jaguars first down as this defense, boy, a little too loose there. They give up a gain of 19 on fourth down. ETN up the middle. 
And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. On second down, ETN once more. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. And they'll run with ETN. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. So the Jags will keep the offense out there as they'll decide to go for two. Lawrence. He's got it. And they will not go quietly as we are back to a two-score game. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. So this will be a win for Jacksonville. Charles, so for this losing side, their heads are hanging as they walk off the field today. And really, I mean, we know why those three turnovers by that offense, that's ultimately what doomed them. And this is what coaches preach all the time to every team that we ever talk with. Taking care of the ball on offense, trying to take it away on defense. And let's face it, when you give it away three times in one game, you make it very difficult for your team to get the W. So for Jacksonville, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the Houston Texans next week. Meanwhile, for the Titans, they'll drop to 0-2. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Dallas Cowboys.